Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May the 6th, and this morning we will be doing morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. And our service this morning will begin on page 77, page 77. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. When you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Please turn to page 79 and we will say the confession together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep, you in eternal, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, Open up our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. And now turning to page 82. We will say together the Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O oh, today that you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 119, verses 49 to 56. Psalm 119, verses 49 to 56, and will be found on page 767 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us say the psalm together. Remember your word to your servant, because you have given me hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have denied me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, I take comfort. I am filled with a burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me whenever I lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me, because I have kept your commandments. This morning's first reading comes from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. In chapter 2, you yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But 
though we had already suffered and been shamefully maltreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in one God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have, may have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. You remember our labor and toil, brothers and sisters. We worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you while we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also. You are witnesses, and God also. How pure, upright, and blameless our conduct was toward you, believers. As you know, we dealt with each of you like a father with his children, urging and encouraging you, and pleading that you should lead a life worthy of God, who calls you into His own kingdom of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us turn to page 87 and read together Canticle 11, the third song of Isaiah. Page 87, Canticle 11. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open, by day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destructions within your border. You will call your walls salvation and your portals praise. The sun will no, no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading this morning comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 through 20. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us turn to page 92 and say together, Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah. Page 92, Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath that he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And now let us turn to page 96 and we will say together the Apostles' Creed. Page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Close your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect, a Collect for Today. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve. Bless all who, following in his steps, give thanksgiving to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, the needy. For the love of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
a collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and the occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A Collect for Mission Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I invite you, either silently or aloud, to share your intercessions and your thanksgivings. Heavenly Father, this morning we ask your blessings on all those who find themselves confined, unable to leave their homes. We ask your blessings and your healing power on those who are in any way sick in body, mind, or spirit that they may know your love and the embrace of your healing power. And we give thanksgiving this morning for all those who are working to, to, on our behalf, not only those in the health professions, but those who are working in grocery stores and banks who are delivering food and supplies and other essential items to us while we are confined during this COVID-19 pandemic. We ask your protection on all those people. We ask you to bring your, to bring your love to those who may be afflicted with this virus, protect them and give them the knowledge that you are with them as they struggle with this disease. All this we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now let us turn to page 101 and say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but also in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. And now turning to page 102. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. That concludes this morning's morning prayer. I hope that you, this uh, finds you well, finds you safe. Please stay in, stay safe, and be well. And now I ask the Lord to bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, that the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. I hope you will join us tomorrow morning when Reverend Ann will be, will be with us to uh, do uh, a prayer service. Remember that Brother Les and Chris Paul are doing Compline each evening at uh, 8.30 as well. So please join us for all of those services as well as our Sunday morning service at 10 a.m. Uh, and now, um, may you be well, be safe.